I don't know what happened, but whatever. There we go. Where do these freaks keep coming from? Anyway, I think we got him. Oh, there are spikes up there. Oh, there's another one. God damn. Camera angle's terrible. Wow. It's the worst I've seen it so far. Now who wants to kill me in here? No doubt was the evidence Mobius wished me to have. For the vampires had prophesied not one, but two champions. One destined to be Nosgoth's redeemer, the other its destroyer. The Vampire's hero wielded the Reaver, forged for this very purpose. His opponent was clearly the champion of their adversaries, the Hilden, and brandished a flaming sword. The foretold outcome was unambiguous. The Vampire hero would fall. Yes. Whoever the vampire hero is, this door oh, was shit. clearly significant. The answers I sought surely lay within, but to unlock the chamber, the balance emblem had to be fully restored. Oh yeah, so we gotta go restore some emblems and shit. Oh, someone that wants to die? Ah, uh, maybe not. Yep. Bastards. Cain has been going on um, to some extent about this whole idea of a vampire champion or the scion of balance or whatever for uh, hey, like this chumps you guys won't stand a chance he's been going on to some extent this entire game about being like the vampire champion or something and he's clearly referring to this prophecy. Now, Cain has some foreknowledge of the events of Nosgoth. If he didn't, he wouldn't be able to um, try to even do the things that he's doing here. Going around and trying to change the past and trying to change the future. The Reaver required some additional enhancement before this door could be opened. But as Mobius has pointed out, Kane isn't necessarily knowledgeable enough in order to be able to pull all that stuff off. Oh, a whole wheel of life. Jump. Now I got you, bitches. Just because Kane has had access to Mobius's little uh, chamber of secrets, or whatever you want to call it, and has had the ability to see the future for some time, doesn't mean he has been correctly able to interpret the future. Keep in mind, Raziel went through the same area, saw a lot of the same stuff, and wasn't really able to make the kind of sense of it that Kane seems to have been able to, or Mobius has. Okay, I got my Wheel of Life, but this isn't, uh... That wasn't what I needed to get through. Ah, uh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, all right. So, Kane has been sent here to try and see, um, try to gain a 
a better perspective on what it is this fate that he believes has in store for him. Through, damn it. Oh, these damn bastards are pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. Oh, they're women. I didn't realize that. Or are they all women? I guess some of them are men, some of them are women. Oh, you're impaled. And there's no one to drink blood from. There we go. Oh, there's a... There we go. Ah, jeez. Whoa! Where'd you bastards come from? They're everywhere. Really, uh, just throwing everything but the kitchen sink at you to try and take you out at this point in the game, aren't they? Dead yet? Come on. Already got the, the life thing over here, so. Moving on. Instead of throwing more powerful enemies, they seem to be content on just chucking more of them at you. Oh, here we go. Ah, crap. Don't die here. <laughs> 